Hey everybody and welcome to another awesome RenPy tutorial video with me Thundorn. And in this video we are going to look at a user request which is adding bullet points to our choices menu. Which is an interesting one but it's easily doable. So what we first want to do is we want to get ourselves onto Google Images or one of the stock photography sites or something like that and find ourselves a bullet point icon and download it. Make sure that you're allowed to use the image, it's royalty free or that you've paid for it. And then we're going to go into our images directory and we're going to save it. As you can see, I've already put one in there called bullet.png. If it's got a weird name, just obviously rename it to something simple like bullet.png to make sure that you can reference it nice and easy. Now we'll dive straight into the code. And what you want to do is go into your screens.rpy file and locate the choice screen. And another tip I'll give you while we're here is that if you notice, if you're in Atom, if you notice when you move to the side of the screen, you can see these little arrows. That'll allow you to close down chunks of code to make them smaller so that you, when you're scrolling through files, it's a little easier to locate everything. So what we want to do is we want to come in in our VBox where we're going through the loop of items and what we want to do is we're going to create a new line and we're going to open an HBox. Now for those of you who remember an HBox is a box, a virtual box within which all the items are aligned horizontally one after the other. And then we're going to create a new line after that making sure that our tabs and indents are set up properly and we're going to type in add bullets.png. Now we're going to save that and we're going to have a look at how it looks. So we'll run it. And as you can see when we run it it's got bullet points but as you can see they're friggin massive it looks ridiculous so let's get out of this and let's do something about it. So you could if you wanted to you could go and edit the image file but it's much easier just to do this. So we're going to type in zoom. Now this is a command where we provide it with a tuple value where 1.0 is 100% and any number other than that is either more or less. Now when I say tuple what I mean is it's a floating point number so it's got a decimal point in it. So for example if I wanted the bullets to be about less than a third of the size I'll say I'm going to say zoom 0.3 like that and let's see what happens now. Running the game again click on start now they're a lot more sensible size a lot more sensibly sized but as you can see they are not perfectly aligned with the text so we're going to look at that next so we'll come back into our screens to rpy i'm going to type in y align so we're going to align it on the y axis within the h box this is the text alignment within the h box so we'll type in 0.5 which is exactly in the center now when we save that And we're going to run it again. As you can see now, the bullet points are now aligned. But to me, they're a little bit distracting. So we're going to go a little bit further. And I'm going to change the opacity. Now to do that, we're going to type in alpha. And I'm going to put it at 0.4, which is 40% opacity. 1 being 100%, 0 being 0%. So that's just less than half. We'll come back and we'll run it again. Click on start. Now, as you can see, they look a lot nicer. They are much less distracting, which is great. So that is really it. That's all there is to it. Simple as that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, feel free to give us a thumbs up or a like and a subscribe. Visit me on Patreon and donate your hard-earned cash or just buy me a coffee on Buy Me A Coffee and I will see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.